Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing how to do water pyramid clip, the route associated with it, and a couple backups if needed. So I'll start off with the flight section. I don't actually know if you need to have a zoomed out camera for this, but it's generally what you should have and what you would have in this scenario. So take off, two feathers, one, two, hold up, beak bomb, just as normal. Uh, go for this honeycomb. Try to get it a bit more from the top, a tiny bit more from the top than from a tiny bit from the, a tiny bit more from the bottom. Uh, it's just a bit of micromanagement that helps a bit, but it's okay if you're just in the middle. So anyways, don't turn to face the rock until this cactus is fully off screen, until it's just out of sight. It just puts Banjo in a better position to angle uh, his beak bomb at the, at the rock. For aiming at the rock itself, there's not much I can go off of and I'm not going to try to explain it too much, but you basically just want to try your best to aim to the top left of the rock. And that's pretty much all there is to it. For now... Uh, right there. So I took a bit to aim that, but that should still work. So now, while the cutscene is playing, you should be able to tell whether you'll get the jiggy right away or not. Sometimes you might be too high and you might have to like, go around for it. And in that case, good luck. <laughs> but if you know you're gonna get the jiggy right away, then hold up left on the joystick and press A three times right after right after the cutscene ends. So peek behind the rocks, skip the text as fast as you can. Press A three times, and then aim to the right of the pyramid. Hold up a bit, go there. Right here is a good height. Uh, if you beak bomb a bit higher than the pyramid, then that's good. Uh, being a bit higher after the beak bomb is being is better than being a bit lower. Like, if you're around this height... Or no, that's still fine. If you're around, like, this height after the... If you're, like, around this height, sorry. After the beak bomb, then I would suggest don't YOLO it. Being a bit too low is just a bit dangerous sometimes. So anyways, uh, that's just micromanagement that doesn't really matter. This trick is really easy. Uh, what you want to do, be as far right as you can on this wall uh, and just fly into it. Just fly into it from above. So just like this. Now what you're going to do, so this line right here, this brown line behind the health bar, when this line is on top of the screen, you just hold straight up and beak bomb right before you hit the ground. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You want to be as right as possible so that you can see the rest of the level a bit, so it's a bit more laggy, and that helps a bit. But yeah, generally that's just the basics of that setup. Hold up, beak bomb. And that will work. So yeah, that's Water Pyramid Clip itself. Uh, I'm going to assume you know the route of... Uh, I'm going to assume you know the route without Water Pyramid Clip, so I'll just tell you what the differences are. So after this room, you're just going to go straight to Sandy Butt like you would after after the Water Pyramid normal. So you go to Sandy Butt, just like normal. And in this route, in Water Pyramid Clout, Water Pyramid route, you have to do grab it at the end. So you do Sandy Butt as normal, go there, get all that stuff, do the final ring. Get the Ancient One Jiggies, come over here. So anyways, now you're in flight. You're gonna do grab at the end, uh, which is pretty simple. Take off with a medium zoom camera, spam B towards here. Now you wanna aim for right over here. There's like a black black splotch here. After this, this first beak bomb, you wanna hold up a bit and a tiny bit to the right, aim for this black splotch. Beak bomb again. Now what you're gonna do to aim at Grabba is you're gonna hold straight left until you until like Grabba's in sight. Then you're gonna hold straight down to lower Banjo's feet. And then once Banjo's feet is covering the jiggy, that's when you beak bomb. Hold down, beak bomb. Skip the text. Now here, hold up left. One, two, three. Hold up, beak bomb towards there. Hold forward and just peck. Now you're over here. Uh, you're gonna get these shoes, and now the setup for this jump, uh, you wanna hold R so that it's a straight line towards that red feather. Then right after you overtake this corner, or like right as you're overtaking it, you wanna jump. And that'll get you across. That's the setup for that jump. So, so it'll look like this. Just like that. And you get all this, it's pretty simple. And then the cam camera control for the next part is probably the thing that'll make or break your movement. What I like to do is just uh, not touch the camera. 
So now you can just hold it straight down and tap, tap A for like every note until you take a hit next. Oops, don't quit. Yeah. Tap A, tap A, tap A, tap A. You turn your camera on that note specifically because you have time to change your camera uh, while you're taking a hit. Basically, you can just hold R. Now here, you can hold A for, for all these notes, you just tap A. But if you hold A here for like a split second longer, you can grab this note and then slide on the wall like that without taking damage. Which is optimal if you have, if you only have that much health. And that's pretty straightforward. Here, this jump at the end is really easy. You just tap A, then big jump. And you should make it here. Kill Gobi, and then make your way through. Uh, and yeah, that's the route associated with Water Pyramid Clip. If you fail Water Pyramid Clip at any point over there, then just get the shoes and do the old route, where you climb the pyramid with with the shoes, and then just uh, beak bust after Grabba, get the notes, do the jump at the end, and finish the level. And yeah, that's about it. I hope that helps. See you later.